Top story tonight is one you will only see on KSL. The cowboy from Tooele, lucky to be alive after riding a bull Saturday, and that's when things went south. The 19-year-old's head hitting the bull's head while riding, landing him in the hospital with severe injuries in a coma and on life support. New specialist Kara Bracken joins us now live. And Kara, you got a chance to talk with Dax and his mom. How's he doing? Hey, well, Dax tells me, you know, he's broken ribs before and describes bull riding as something where the rider knows that getting injured is always on the table. But to this degree, this is something entirely different. If you're going to do it, you have to be all in about it. Dax Preston go, go, go. has been riding all in. Something that gave you adrenaline. You wanted to do it, and the more you wanted to do it, the better you got at it. For the last few years, he's been bull riding. Last Saturday, Dax was bull riding in Marysville, far from his first rodeo. My buddy said I sat up good, rode him for a few jumps. Until his head came down at the same time the bull's head came up. This photo capturing the moment before contact. Slid up on my rope and nodded my head. I seen that gate open, that bull come out, and then I just opened my eyes and I was in a hospital. Waking up from a 15-hour coma on life support, the ride ended with a fractured skull, brain bleed, and hearing loss. And I'll usually just text him and say, hey, tell me about your ride, you know. But I just had this really strong feeling. And I uh, pulled over and said a prayer with my daughters and just ask for protection over him. Dax's mom, Shanna, was heading on a road trip across the country when she got the call her son had been seriously injured. They said he's very, very lucky to even be alive, to even be able to walk and talk right now is a miracle. Just days later, a walking cane is the only thing you and I could see left over from the ride. This could have been a very different story had he not made one last minute decision. When I seen them roll that bull into the chutes, I hurried and just grabbed my helmet, put my hat down, and thank God I did because, you know, I wouldn't be here if I didn't. The next bull he'll be taking by the horns, recovery with three months of no driving or working while doctors watch him to see if they need to do surgery or not. His doctors say that may be his last bull ride. Dax already misses the saddle. I might strap on a few years just down the road. I don't know. I'm just ready to go. As you can see, he is ready to go. Now, coming up on next year in Duchesne, they're going to have a bull riding event where all the benefits will go to Dax. There's also a GoFundMe that's going to help with those medical expenses, and we'll have that up on our website. For now, they're reporting live. I'm Kara Bracken. I'll send it back to you inside. Yeah, lucky to be alive. So glad he's on the mend here. Thank you. Appreciate that.